It was during the mid to late 1990s when console emulation first hit the gaming scene. Soon thereafter, many gamers fell in love with emulation since it gave them an opportunity to play and relive some of their favorite console games through emulators. However, as the years went by and the resolution of our gaming monitors or TVs got larger, many of the games no longer looked visually appealing due to the heavy graphical pixelation on a high definition screens. Fortunately, however, creative retro fans decided to do something about it. Using their artistic and computer skills, some retro gamers decided to recreate and improve the textures of some of the greatest classic console games, including many for the Nintendo 64. Consequently, there are over a dozen games for the Nintendo 64 which have been given graphical makeovers. The results of some of these artistic efforts are absolutely stunning since it brings many of the Nintendo 64 classics into the modern era without all the blurry textures from 20 plus years ago. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to install HD textures in Batocera for some of your favorite Nintendo 64 games. I will also showcase the HD textures of three popular N64 games. Lastly, I will provide a link of three HD texture packs directly from my website, featuring 15 Nintendo 64 games. Are you ready? Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. So glad that you could join us. So my last tutorial was about Nintendo 64 emulation in Batocera. And if you've not seen that one, I would highly encourage you to watch that one first because that will give you information how you can best set up your Nintendo 64 emulation within Batocera. Okay? And I will be providing a link uh, in my video description. Also, last time, we talked about there's a wonderful discussion on the Batocera Linux wiki page for Nintendo 64 emulation. And there's a section there about high resolution texture packs, okay? You can check that out uh, if you want to. And it tells you where you need, you need to put things uh, to make it all work. Uh, but I will be showing this in my video tutorial, okay? So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some texture packs for Nintendo 64. And there's a bunch of sites out there that you can download all your texture packs, uh, including this one, Emulation in Keen. And I will be providing links to all these websites, okay? Uh, you can see there all the different collections that they have there, okay? There's uh, six pages worth of material there. Uh, then there's also Nintendo 64 textures, okay? And they also have a collection there as well. It's a complete download. This means that these texture packs are complete and there's nothing missing in them okay so there's several of them right there and they will also show you some samples okay of the different texture packs for the different games that are found okay you can click on them and, and look at the different texture packs this one's pretty cool and i've got that one too all right i'm gonna show you that one too all right You can see there, that looks really good, okay? All right. And there's, of course, there's some more samples there as well. You can see and check it out. Look at that. Looks amazing, okay? All right. And then we also have some more found on emulation64.com. I'm sure some of these are duplicates, but you may want to take a look at them all, okay? Here we have 28. And then we also have some from emutalk, okay? On this particular side, you're going to have to register to download the texture packs. And they've got it divided into two main sections. Completed project, which means the texture packs is complete and there's nothing missing in them. And then you got those which are work in progress, okay? But let me go ahead and open this one here. Uh, and these are the ones that are completed, okay? So you may want to take a look at these as well, okay? Now, to simplify things, I'm going to go ahead and create a download pack for you all. This way you don't have to go through all these different sites. Or you'll, you may to find some gems, okay? So in my pack, I'm going to have three different files, okay? you got the main one right here. And this main one has a collection 
of 12 games, okay? You can see there right there. Let's close this out. Uh, and then you also have a Mario Kart 64 pack, which will consist of three of them. And then you'll have a Star Fox 64 collection, which will have two of them. And finally, we've got a Super Mario 64 pack, which will consist of six different high texture packs as well, okay? So once you download these, assuming you download all three of them, go ahead and unzip this one first, okay? And this will produce this particular folder, okay? Keep it the way, exactly the way it is. Otherwise, it won't work within Bato Center. So once you have unzipped this, then you can go ahead and unzip these three, okay? And when you unzip them, then go ahead and copy the folder to each one into this particular folder, okay? This is the way it should look like, okay? Here's like, for example, here's the six Super Mario 64 collection pack. There's the two Star Fox. And those are the three Mario Kart 3, okay? And I want to show you how you can select between one pack versus another one in the tutorial, all right? So once you've got everything unzipped, uh, then go ahead and either copy this to your network or you can copy this folder, the entire folder, into a portable hard drive. And then we're going to use that to copy into the Batocetta system, okay? So go ahead and copy everything. And let's go ahead and load up Batocetta. All right, so about to set us loaded up. Let's go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard. And there's my drive. Okay, here are the textures right here. Okay, so let me show you a little cool little trick. Press F3, and that brings up two explorers right here. Okay, so for the second one, go ahead and press share. Oh, yes, view, go to view first actually and then click on show hidden, okay? So on the second one here, folder, go into system, go into local, go into share, and then move print 64 plus, and then right there, okay? So just go ahead and select them, go back to the first one right here, select everything, copy, and then go to the second one here and paste it. So it's going to take a while before you get to this screen. Uh, in fact, you'll see something about preparing. So it has to look at all the files. It's about over two gigabytes. So it's going to take a little while, so be patient. But eventually, you'll see this screen, right? So then go ahead, apply this option to all existing files, and then just overwrite. And then I'll copy everything. Uh, and once again, this will take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section. Well, we are done. So again, Make sure you copy this folder and to use the data system dot local share moopin 64 plus and that's where you copy the folder okay i will be providing a link of this location in my video description all right now that we're done let's go ahead and close this out so we're ready to test things out let's go into 64 and let's try out star fox 64 okay first thing is first though Let's press the back of the select button on your gamepad. That'll bring us to advanced system options. And let's go to emulator, okay? Among these five emulators, the three that are supposed to work with high texture packs are this one, this one, uh, and this one. As I mentioned in my last tutorial, uh, I was having problems with this one. I don't know if something is broken with the emulator, but as of late September of 2021, uh, this one is really not working all that well. So that leaves us with two emulators that allow you to import high texture packs, okay? So it's this one right here uh, and Rice. Among these two, this one is a little bit slower. Uh, I noticed that this is much faster, it loads it up much faster, and gameplay is much smoother, okay? Let me just go ahead and show you uh, the time it takes to load up a texture pack in Software 64. Okay, that versus this right here. Let's go back in there, emulator, and we'll go with rice. You can see that instantaneous, and there's no load up timer whatsoever. So again, the rice 
plug-in is much faster for HD textures, and I would stick with that one. Now then, in terms of the actual other options you can use, uh, I would use, depending upon what you have for your computer, if you have a powerful computer, you can use these options right here, okay? Uh, nearest for mi mapping, uh, pick this for AX or 16X, this one no higher than 8X, and, and this one, go ahead and either choose Sharpen or Sharpen More, okay? And of course, this has to be on. Uh, if this is not on, you're not going to see anything, all right? So make sure you turn it on. And everything else, you're good to go. All right, let me go ahead and show you some gameplay using the default Star Fox 64 pack that I have for y'all. And by default, I mean this is the one that's going to load up automatically once you copy your textures uh, into your folder. Message from General Pepper. Priority one. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Everybody stay alert! Go 
As you can see, that was absolutely impressive compared to the original Star Fox 64. Now, there's also another one included in this pack. And let me show you how to change from one pack to another pack in case you want to test things out and then determine which one you like the best, okay? So, hit Escape and then press F1. Let's go back to that folder. It's System, Local, Dot Local, Share, Moonprint 64 Plus, and then this folder here, okay, high resolution texture. All right, so you can see there we got two for Star Fox 64. Okay, this is the second one. So if you want to test another one, all you got to do is this. Just go ahead and rename the first one. And then if you want to delete it later on, you don't like that one, you can just go ahead and delete it. Okay, but if you just want to test things out, uh, change the file name. In this case, I'm going to put one. All right, and this one, just go ahead and rename it. Press F2. Uh, and backspace all that and rename it. All right, so now this will be the default one. The second one will be the default high texture pack that's going to load up automatically. Let's go back to file, close window, and let me show you gameplay using this one.
right, you can see there, I think the default one that I use is better. It looks better, but you like the other one, you can choose the other one instead, okay? So, let's go back in there. Let's go back to system. Let's go back to local, share, new page 64 plus. All right. So let's say again you like the the first one better. So you can just go ahead and rename this one to number two. Or again you can delete it, right? Let's go back to number one and rename it, and there you go. Okay. It's the same thing with these other Super Mario games. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. Okay, and that's how you would test that out. Just rename it. Make sure it looks like this when you rename it. Super Mario 64, exactly the way it is. Uh, and then from there you can test each and every single one. And then again, if you don't like one of them, or several of them, you can just go ahead and delete it. There'll be no problem whatsoever. Now let's go ahead and test out Super Mario 64. You know what, actually, before we do Super Mario 64, let's go ahead and do Mario Kart 64 first. Let me show you a couple of them, all right? All right, so this one's going to be the default texture pack. All right, so this one's labeled Mario Kart 64-2. Check this one out. And this final one is labeled Mario Kart 64 3. All right, so now we're ready to try out Super Mario 64.
All right, so this one's going to be Super Mario 64-2 in my pack collection, all right? It's me, Mario! Hello! Now then, this next one is going to be Super Mario 64 High Realistic Pack. It's me, Mario! Hello! All right, so this next one is also quite popular. And this one is labeled Super Mario 64 Nintendo Mod. Check this one out. It's me, Mario. Hello. Okey-dokey. That's pretty impressive, and I think it's a close second with Molly Mutt. All right, the second to last one is Super Mario Recios Retro. It's me, Mario. Hello. Hey Mario, 
Mario. He's kind of careful. I didn't make the case of you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. And this last one is going to be Super Mario 64 Sunshine. This is also one that's really popular. It's me, Mario! Hello! Alright, so that is the last one of the Super Mario 64 collection. Again, there are other games as well in this high texture pack collection. Okay, so try them out uh, and see if you like them. Okay, so that is a wrap. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please go ahead and like my video. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching Bautista Nation, then go ahead and take a look at our channel or take a look at our website at BautistaNation.com. We've got a lot more tutorials for different emulators. And if you find out that Bautista is something that you would love for your retro console needs, then go ahead and consider subscribing. We would really appreciate it. So for our next video, we're going to start getting ready for the official version of Bautista 32. I might throw in one more video before we start with Bautista 32. But that all depends upon when Bautista 32 will finally be released to the public. All right? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Bautista Nation. Bye.